What is this Frankenstein's monster that is hanging out outside of the Epic Homestead right next to Dragon Fruit Alley? Well, it is a mini split system, which is my HVAC or HVAC system of choice here at the Epic Homestead. And in today's video, I wanted to just riff on why I chose this system, some of the results that I have from it, both the performance of it, does it keep me warm, does it keep me cool, and how much did it cost? In the end, what do I think of it? Is it a good investment for a sustainable urban homestead? Kevin Espiritu here from Epic Gardening and Epic Homesteading. So this is the Fujitsu Halcyon HFI, Hybrid Flex Inverter. It is a mini split system, and we're gonna talk about what that means in a second. So basically what's happening here, this is the exterior unit. It's connected to four different air handlers. Those air handlers can push out cold air or they can push out warm air. So it can do both and they're in one room. So I've got one in a bedroom, one in an office, one in the living room, and one in the kitchen, and I've actually automated them with Google Home. So very, very handy. You can set up all sorts of different things to save energy. Make sure you're not just blasting heat or cold air and, and just absolutely wasting energy. But first of all, was this system worth it? In my estimation, yes, it was. The whole thing ended up costing somewhere around $12,600 plus or minus maybe about $100 or so and I got it installed from my friends over at West Coast Air, Heating, Gas and Solar. I highly recommend them. Very professional guys. Just absolute consummate professionals unlike a lot of the sort of clownishness you will see in this industry sometimes. So their link is in the description. Just mention you came from Kevin Espiritu over at Epic Gardening and they may throw a little discount your way. Anyways, let's talk about this. So you have your exterior unit. It's going to go into the air handler you need to run both power and you need to run the refrigerant lines and so that's what this big system is right here so let's talk about that next this is the basic outdoor setup so this is just a protection sleeve for the power line and the refrigerant line for each of the air handlers inside this one is a little bit awkward because it had to run over this window but this is where the kitchen air handler is right here so you just have that going up it's a little bit unsightly, I would say, but it really doesn't make that big of a deal. And of course, I can just paint this if I want to. Now, when you're dealing with a mini split system, you're going to have condensation or condensate. And so that's what this little white pipe is down here. For two of them, which would be the living room and, and the kitchen, those are draining out right here. So I could actually put like a plant next to this and it would be automatically watered every single time that I run the system. The other one is out in the front yard, but what we wanna do now is actually go inside and see how it works. Here's just one more example of what they look like on the outside in a more normal application, just straight from there, which would be the office air handler on the inside there. Boom down, it goes through the crawl space, connects to that exterior unit out there, and voila, not that crazy. The other one is right back there. Okay, now let's go inside. So this is what the air handler looks like. They all look like this, although they have different levels of power or BTU output. So this one's in the living room. It has the highest amount of BTU output because it has to kind of throw air straight down this channel into the living room. I have the kitchen one, those are the bigger ones. And then the ones in the office, which would be right through this wall, and the bedroom, which is right over there, are a little bit smaller, but they really look the same. They're all controlled by this remote, although now I control it with my phone. And I'm gonna show you how I do that in a second because you need a little bit of a modification, but this remote's actually quite robust. I can turn it on, of course, so these will come down. You can adjust these fan flaps however you want, or you can set them to automatic, and you can run it in a lot of different ways. So let's just say I want to turn it to cool because I'm feeling a little warm. I'll just change the mode to cool. It clicks, it says, okay, cool. And I want to bring it down to 64 degrees. Boom, now it's gonna do that. So what's gonna happen is whatever's happening in here on the exterior unit, the opposite is happening. So if it's cooling here, warm air is coming out there and vice versa. So actually, depending on the way that your home is set up, you could actually locate the exterior unit in a space that you wanted to condition. Maybe let's say a garage or something like that. And if the stars aligned, it would be putting out the opposite reaction over there and you could get that result. It's kind of a fringe case, but it's kind of an interesting thing as well. So let me show you a little close up of this remote, but I also wanna show you what this is right here, which is how I control the whole thing with my phone. All right, this is the remote that comes with the unit. So I have four of these. Again, this is a Fujitsu system. So what you can do is you can pull this down. If you need to change something crazy, you can set sleep amounts, you can set specific timers, and then of course you can change the mode. So I've got cool, I've got dry, that's if I need to pull some humidity out of the air. I've got fan, just need to blow air. And then I have heat. Actually, it's winter right now. I've been running this on heat most of the time. 
somewhere around 68 degrees. And that's how I've been typically running mine. But again, you can change it to economy mode. It's gonna save some power. You can change the position of those uh, fan little blades was angling the air in a different way. And that's pretty much it. Uh, you can make it go faster if you want by hitting powerful. That'll like force priority towards this particular unit and put out way more so it'll reach the temperature you want it to reach faster. It's actually somewhat complex remote, but it works really well and it's very easy to use. While the remote might be easy to use, nothing is easier to use than your phone. So I've got an app that connects directly to this mini split, not made by Fujitsu. It's made by the company that makes this little device right here. So this talks to my phone, and then this talks to the remote, and the remote talks to the Fujitsu air handler unit inside. This is from a company called Cielo. I'm gonna put the link down in the description. Each of these ran me about $60, so it was $240 to be able to control all these in an automated fashion, in my mind, worth it for the headache of having to find the remotes and pressing them every single time I wanted to turn it on and off, but also just for the automation and eventual energy savings because what you can do in the app, which I'm gonna show you, is actually really, really cool. Okay, so here we have the Cielo app. So this is the Cielo Home app. You can see I have my four air handlers set up and the kitchen one is on right now and you can tell what's on and off by this little sliding toggle right here. So if I wanna turn the kitchen off, Boom, it's off. Let's turn the office or let's turn the living room on. You can probably hear that turn on right there. Now I can also control anything that I can do on this remote, I can also do over here and I can even do more. So like I said, you can change the swing position of the fan. You can change the speed of the fan. You can change the mode. Like I said, I can go to auto. I can go to fan. I can go to dry and I can go to cool if I want to. And there's some cool little animations here to kind of give you a sense of which one you're on. We're gonna go back to heat and we don't need it at 88 degrees. We need it probably somewhere around 68 degrees. But you can also do this. So you can set it up on schedule. You can set it up on rules. You can set it up so that if you leave within a certain radius of your home, it automatically turns off. That's what the location control is for. The filter status will tell you if you need to clean the filter out. And then it'll also give you some maintenance tips. So that's what I really, really like about this particular thing. And I can just quickly, let's say I'm leaving home or I'm coming home. Let's just imagine I'm coming home, right? So these are off. Turn it off real quick. And um, I see that it's quite cold before I get home, I wanna heat the house up. Well, maybe 15 minutes before I get home, I can just flip some of these on, and by the time I get home, it'll be nice and warm and toasty, vice versa in the summer. So I really like this, but I've actually extended this just one more bit with the use of Google Home. So with Google Home, what I can do here is I have rooms, right? And so the room has the Google Nest, but it also has the kitchen AC. Now, if I wanted to, I could control it from the Google Home apparatus. I don't really need to do that. The Cielo app works perfectly fine. Nevertheless, what you can do with Google Home is you can set up routines. And so let's say I was going to uh, come home, for example. It says, I'm home to Google. Well, when I say I'm home, I don't really have this routine set up, but let's just set it up right now. So I don't wanna play any music, we don't need that, so let's, let's delete that. But I do wanna adjust the thermostat, but first we have to turn the thermostat on. So if I say I'm home, and I'll say try adding your own, and then we'll type in turn on kitchen AC, just like that, right? And then we'll adjust the thermostat, let's do this. We'll add that, and we're going to adjust the thermostat and we're gonna adjust the kitchen AC to something nice and comfortable like 70, let's just keep it at 72 for now for the sake of this. And let's click done. Let's click save. Okay, now watch this. I'm home. Hi, Kevin, welcome home. Boom, it just turned it on. And so now I have complete automation in my home. If I'm leaving, I can have them turn them off. At nighttime, I can have it turn everything off. In the morning, I can have it turn things on. And then if you combine that with the Cielo Home routines, then you can actually, these, these rules and schedules, then you make sure that you're never wasting energy and you're only using it when you absolutely need it to feel comfortable in your home. So in the end, is this worth it? And should you pay to have someone do it or should you install it yourself? Because there are some systems that you can install yourself. I believe one of them is called the Mr. Cool. The real truth is, at least in my opinion, unless you already have experience with HVAC systems, you've done some construction, this particular setup to me does not make sense to DIY unless you're just maybe using one air handler. Because for me, what they had to do is they had to route the refrigeration and the electrical 
down through the crawl space and consolidate it all in this outdoor unit, that took them quite a bit of time. It was a one and a half, two day install. For me, it would, probably would have been 10 days. You know, it just wouldn't have been worth my, my labor cost to do that. And they used the actual high quality components straight from Fujitsu instead of one of these basically, not fly by night, that's not the right way to say it, but basically just a lower quality uh, device. And if I'm gonna put something in that costs this much money, I'm gonna pay a little bit extra to put in some of the better components. That's just what I'm gonna do here at the Epic Homestead. I want longevity and I want quality and I'm okay sacrificing some more money up front to get those two things. So again, uh, I really like it. It's, it's gonna be one of the better ways to do uh, efficient, air in a in, in a home like mine it's a small home and i really just need to cool and warm lightly because we have a relatively moderate climate here central air was way too expensive even other companies quoted out eighteen thousand nineteen thousand dollars for a mini split system and central air would have been 25 to thirty thousand whereas i got this system really high quality components for about 12 5 to 13 and it was done in a really professional way. Again, that was from the guys over at West Coast Air Heating, Gas, and Solar. So again, their link is in the description. So if you have any other questions about this, I'll probably end up doing like an energy systems video here on the homesteading channel, all the different things that I've done to reduce my consumption and increase my efficiency. So till next time, guys, stay tuned, stay cool, and good luck in the garden.